Um, I use acrylic. So I do wildlife, horses, dogs, cats, any animals. It's a question every artist gets at one time or another. Birds, um, as far as ducks and eagles and things. For Dee Dee Murray, her answer to that question I am a, a realist. Is simple. Yeah. Yeah, realism is the art form this Centralia artist is drawn to. Look at how real. I like to paint every hair on the animal, so. It's like the animals are in the room. I do a lot of pet portraits. Dee Dee leaves the abstract work. She's an abstract impressionist painter. The impressionistic stuff to others, to her prolific roommate, Hallie. I thought I had a pretty good year, but she, she made more money than I did last year. Two working artists living in one house with the same obsession to express themselves. Competition. It's a little hard on the ego, but I'm so proud of her, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the realist works upstairs. The impressionist works downstairs. The realist mm -hmm. does interviews. Yeah. <laughs> the abstract impressionist roommate does not. I guess Hallie would rather let her work do the talking. She's an amazing talent. And others. I'm her biggest fan. They're touched that Hallie creates this work and sells this work. Because of Hallie, we've saved lives. It's, it doesn't get any better. Okay, there's your paint right there. And what makes it even better Ready? is when you learn who Hallie is. I just say paint. You want to paint? That question. Hallie, paint. With a little encouragement. Good girl. That's good girl. And a lot of treats. She paints faster, the better the treat is. There you go. Paint a little more. Good girl. That's good. There you go. Good girl. Hey, paint. Good girl. Good. Very good. Hey, paint. Good. Good girl. That's it. Go ahead and paint, sweetie. There you go. Good girl. Brings out the best Very in this 13-year-old long-haired dachshund. She, she tends to paint in the same area, so she does have a nice, the rule of thirds, you know, the golden mean where things are supposed to go. Every dollar girl. of every sale from Hallie's girl. paintings there you go. goes to a nonprofit in Chehalis. Where is it? Get that that helps abandoned and abused dogs. Every dime. Purple Heart Rescue. I can't even tell you how many lives she's touched. People have noticed. Good girl. Allie recently won a humanitarian award for donating $15,000, and she has the plaque to prove it. Yes, yes, oh yes, don't get me going. But yeah, yeah, yes, very proud, yeah. And even more impressive when you learn why Hallie just bumped into our camera. She can't even see. My blind dog makes more money than I do. It's just amazing. Here you go. Two years ago, Hallie developed sudden acquired retinal degeneration syndrome, a disease in dogs that causes sudden blindness. And that's not all. She can barely hear. Mm hmm She's going bald and she's short, so. <laughs> Dee Dee is a realist in her approach to art and life. Aww. She knows the deal. And so she'll savor the remaining time she has with this precious dog she rescued 11 years ago. She's, she is my life. You know, I do everything for her and with her. Who knew everything would also include this? I call Dee Dee all the time. Is she painting? Let's sit you on your little thing. There you go. Well, no, she's taking a rest. Get her painting. Paint? She's slacking. Paint a little more. There you In go. In Good. There you go. John Sharifi. Very good. That's good. King 5 News. Yeah. We want to be around people. A repeat of last year's May Day was feared by many. Back up, back up, folks. But as the evening's unofficial march moved further into downtown, it almost felt inevitable. The arrest started around 7 o'clock at Pike and Fifth. Go downtown! And as the crowd was herded through downtown, the situation continued to escalate. Injuring demonstrators and officers alike. Stay together! Stay downtown! Our street! The climax seemed to be reached just after 8 when police gained control. And broke up another May Day, just like was feared.
Some nights are more beautiful than others. It's such a special thing. We just come out as quickly as we can out to the balcony. We drop everything and we just run out. Because it's a real thrill. It's part of the evening ritual. Yeah. The nightly ritual ends with a wave. There's no describing it. From Don's deck overlooking Puget Sound. Absolutely beautiful. The sun has set. It's awe-inspiring to me. The song has ended. <laughs> the applause well done, continues. It's, it's this whole kind of, you know, corral of applause. From this Dashpoint neighborhood. We clap and cheer. It's a real treat for us. And the nearby dock. Did you hear that? The, dock. the cheers. It's something that everyone connects to. In appreciation. For those 24 notes that he plays so well. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. 24 notes. 24 notes. Isn't that something? That begin every night. Okay, here he comes out. Sun's going down, you hear that note, first note. There he goes. Oh, Don's playing. With this one. It is beautiful. If the sun's going down, I look over there, and when the sun starts to go, and it goes very fast, as soon as it starts to go, I play. It's Don's cue to play the melody we all know. It is one of the most beautiful songs that, that we have. It's a melody played at military funerals. Don Britton plays it from his back porch. Taps is something that's been played forever. Taps, I think, is awe-inspiring. For this retired Boeing worker, I love to do it. It's what he loves to do, has to do. Yeah, yeah, that gets me choked up. It's Don's way of saying thanks. My husband and I are deployed in Afghanistan to the men and women who serve our country. And wanted to send our personal thanks to you for the remembrance you give to all of the soldiers who have paid the element price. Absolutely. That's not much of a sacrifice on my part. Don never got to serve in the military because he had polio as a kid. So you might say, this evening ritual? It's his way of serving his veterans right here. You betcha. It's sure not for me. 24 notes. We timed it. And I think it takes a minute. Nightly. Emotional. Right. Yeah. Now come on, can you take a minute out of your day to make things better? It's the most important minute of our day. For one minute, uh, that's got 150% of my concentration. Everything I can give it. It's that important to me. Something extraordinary happens in this neighborhood for that one minute. People stop. And I mean stop. And reflect. It makes you just feel so proud. And take a deep breath. And to just say, ah, oh, here I am. Some stand at attention. An amazing and wonderful thing. Wouldn't you? Reverent. We're really blessed to have him right here with the sun. And when the sun has set and the song has ended. And this is kind of corny, but it's almost goosebumps. Long after the applause on those nights when Don knows he's nailed it. I feel really good. I did it, you know. <laughs> it's very important to us. <laughs> Shivers. <laughs> Goose pimples. Yeah, I got it. All of those emotions. Thankfulness. Really deep thankfulness. From these... 24 notes. It's your beautiful evening. John Sharifi, King 5 News.